here in South Florida. It's beautiful. Yeah, we have our own paradise, right? I mean, when it's uh, nice and sunny and especially during the winter time where you can still go to the beach because you know what? It doesn't get that cold. <laughs> and so we can do things like that too and still work from home. All right. So this morning, it is cloudy. It's not sunny, and that is because of that weak front that's lingering over the area. There's even some areas of patchy fog over the Everglades and near the Florida Bay. Now, temperatures are starting off in the upper 60s uh, for the most part, but some of us are already in the low 70s, 70 degrees in Miami, where the stickiness level, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It, overall, it doesn't feel too muggy because the temperatures are still rather on the cool side, but the humidity is actually at 81%. So as we head into this afternoon, it's going to feel even more humid, especially because we have a front coming our way. Now there's no rain impacting on land, just showers off in the Atlantic. Uh, but we do expect a chance for some showers this afternoon. It'll be just a few of them. Heavier rain will come our way by this uh, by late tonight. Uh, it has to do with this area of low pressure that has developed right along this frontal boundary, this boundary that is weak. Now, this low will track towards our area and move over tonight, bringing us uh, the chance for some strong thunderstorms. But then we get another round of rain tomorrow afternoon, late in the afternoon, thanks to this front. This is the strong front that will bring in much chillier temperatures. Here's a look at future weather forecast models. So for this afternoon, just a few dotted showers. Then by midnight, showers start to develop off the Gulf of Mexico, could hit the lower keys as early as midnight. And then by tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., head out earlier because those roadways will be wet and take the rain gear with you. We'll have some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms that could be strong. And then a break in between by 2 p.m. before the front starts to come in later in the afternoon and evening hours. And that will bring us another round of showers clearing out by Monday overnight into Tuesday morning. And then here comes the cooler air mass. All right. Severe weather outlook. So overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're at a marginal risk, and that means we could have an isolated severe storm, which could produce heavy rainfall, gusty winds of at least 30 miles per hour. An isolated tornado cannot be ruled out or even a water spout. Highs today, 82 degrees, winds turning out of the south tonight. It's going to be a little on the wet side and especially tomorrow morning with that front coming through by later in the afternoon and evening. Highs tomorrow 80 degrees waking up in the 50s Tuesday morning.